Welcome to Laugh King's weekly picks and best bets. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Ready Not for ready for another week? Ready to go to LA this week. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we will be live in person at the Titans and Chargers game. So we'll have some content for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, let's get let's get started with our recap of how we did last week. We got two people tied with the for the best week, but I should probably go with the person who has a better record. So we'll go with Jace first. You finished last week at eight and seven. Um, the total comes to 74, 60, and four. Wow, 14 games over the 500 mark. Best bets starting to look nice too. Six and three on your best bet. Killing it, man. Killing it. I had, I tied you with eight and seven. Unfortunately, I do not share your record. <laughs> <laughs> My record is 62, 72, and four. But best bets, I'm the best bet king. I'm eight and one. So we go to the third place, not last, but third. JR last week finished five and ten. Man, that sunk you a little bit. It brings your total to 67, 67, and four. Best bets, what the hell? <laughs> Two and seven on best bets for JR. So JR slid all the way down. Started at first. Mm -hmm. Went second. Then went to last. Oh my god. Slipping, man. Slipping. Throw that Fizzling out you. like the seventh year of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> but as, as I always say, there's hope because we got week 10. There ain't no hope. <laughs> I'm. I have to hold out hope because Jr. and I are. I'm drowning. Jr. is now getting to the point where he's just above yeah. his head's above water. <laughs> but hey, we got some good games, and we're gonna be at one of them. So yep. let's start off with the Thursday night game, though. Man, it looks like a nice one. Cincinnati Bengals at the Baltimore Ravens, with the Ravens favored minus six at home. Damn, I don't know where to go because Baltimore looks unstoppable. Bengals are a team that's starting to come on now. So, I'm going to put I'm going to take a chance. I think let's go with the Cincinnati Bengals to cover plus uh the cover to 6 on the road. Ah, uh, that's where you lost again, Uncle Sammy. I'm picking <laughs> Henry. <laughs> and Lamar MVP Jackson. Let's do it. Mm, all right. I got the Ravens. They're at home. They're, they're too good. So, I got the Ravens. All right. Let's go to... Oh, we got an early game. So, we got an early game uh, from Germany. Munich, Germany. We got the New York Giants going against the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers are designated the home team. Uh, the New York Giants are favored minus five. I'm going to go Carolina Panthers plus five. Give me Carolina. They had a good week last week, right? But they won. They, they, ain't, good, they ain't a good team, though. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Giants on this one. Yeah, I, I, I got to go with the Giants here as well. Even though Carolina did win last week, I still think, though, that they're just inconsistent all around. So I got to go with the Giants on this one. Have right. they ever played in Germany? Uh, I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Anyways, jokes for another time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's go to the next game. We got the San Francisco 49ers. In Tampa Bay, um, the the bu uh, the Bucks are the underdog at home. So the the Forty Niners are favored by minus five and a half on the road. I think they can cover minus five and a half on the road. Tampa Bay is so hurt, but they covered with 
Kansas City though. Tampa Bay's a weird team, but I'll I'll take 49ers to cover. Yeah, and I think 49ers are hurt as well. They've been kind of I guess hitting them more hard than the Bucks. Because yeah, that was impressive over the over last week. But I'm I'm taking the Bucks. Alright, I got the 49ers with this one. Yeah. Right. And now we got the Atlanta Falcons in New Orleans taking on the Saints at uh, in New Orleans. Um, Falcons are favored minus three and a half. I'm going to take the Falcons minus three and a half. Got the Falcons as well. Makes sense. I actually got the Saints. I know the Saints, they, they started off really good. They're blowing out teams and then they started struggling, but... I think that they'll come around against the Falcons. So I got the Saints at uh, plus three and a half. Mm, all right. The team that I can't figure out, the Denver Broncos and also the Kansas City Chiefs. The, they're at, the Denver Broncos are in Kansas City, but I can't figure out these Chiefs when it comes to spread. I know they're undefeated, but damn, if they don't, they don't cover. And the Chiefs are favored by minus eight. So it's a pretty... Large spread there. These guys keep trying me. I'm going to take them again. I'm going to take Kansas City to cover minus eight at home. Yeah, Chiefs at home. That's my law, number one. Chiefs at home. Taking Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the Chiefs as well. Yeah. All right. Now we head to the Buffalo Bills. Take it on the Indianapolis Colts. Buffalo on the road is minus four. We got Joe Flacco. Now uh, they're looks like they're riding with Flacco for the whole year. Obviously things could change, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I think Buffalo should beat them on the road minus four. I'll take the Bills to cover. Yeah, I got the Bills too. They're they're that they're the they're one of the top teams this year. I think the road or home, they're playing well. Yeah, Bills as well. Uh, it's hard to bet against them. So I got them at uh, minus four. All right. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Washington Commanders. Ooh, both of these teams are good, but uh, they're in Washington. Washington is my favored minus three. Uh, Washington just made a big trade, too. They just got Marcus Lattimore from the Saints. Hmm, that should sure. Like, I know it's a sh- it's going to be hard for him to get in there and play with the know the plays but uh you know what i'm gonna take the washington commanders minus three at home i got the steelers i think the defense will be the outcome of this game and the steelers got the better defense so i'm going with the steelers Hmm. that's fair i actually got the commanders um last week i believe you guys picked the commanders as your best bets and they showed up I, re- I decided not to, and I went against them, but honestly, it's hard to. They're an incredible team. So I got the commanders this week. All right. Got the Minnesota Vikings at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Vikings on the road, minus four. I got to go with Minnesota on the road, minus four. I don't know. This is a small spread. I know it's, a, I know it's trying to trap me here. Because that small spread seems like it should be easy to cover. But I'm still going to fall into the trap if it falls that way it falls. <laughs> I'll take the Vikings minus four on their own. Yeah, I'm taking Vikings too. But Jacksonville, is, you never know what you get with them. Um, but I feel like Vikings can cover the spread. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Vikings as well to cover. Um, they're, they're, they're looking good. So I got them. All right. Got the New England Patriots at the Chicago Bears. The Bears is favored minus six. I'm going to go with New England to cover plus six on the road. Yeah, got New England as well. They're starting to play good. Yeah, same here. Patriots all the way for this one. All right. That takes us to the four o'clock games. And let's go to the Tennessee Titans game where we're going to be live in person in LA taking on the Chargers catch us on the sideline we'll be right on the Titans sideline there um Titans are 
underdog, big big favorite by the Chargers, minus seven and a half. I think our viewers know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna ride and die by this. If I lose every single Titan spread, I'm gonna <laughs> stick with them. I'm gonna take the Titans to cover the seven and a half. You know what? I think it doesn't matter because, like, your record sucks anyway. <laughs> you might as well just add another one. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're going to the game because of the Titans. Got my jersey. D Hop man got traded a little bit early, but we'll be wearing probably the only D Hop jersey there. So take a look out for us. Going with the Titans. Yeah, I got the Titans on this one as well. Look, they they pulled out a win last week. Why not? We're gonna be there. It's come, it's turning yeah. around. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna win every game and go to the playoffs. A couple weeks too late, but hey, at least if, we, if if the Titans could get a win while we're there, I think that makes the trip a whole lot better. Yeah, that yeah. would that so. would. All right, now we move on to the Philadelphia Eagles in Dallas. All right, so I the the Eagles are favored on the road minus seven. I think Dak is out. I like um, to me. Yeah, that's you gotta take the Eagles minus seven against the Cowboys. Yeah, I got the Eagles as well. Hmm. I actually got the Cowboys. Mm. And look, I know like they show you moments of being consistent, being inconsistent with Dak being out now. Like there's a whole bunch of question marks, but there's still enough games for them to salvage a decent season. And I think against a tough Eagles team, I think the Cowboys are going to pull out the win with this one. So I got them at uh, plus seven. I think, JR, you, correct me if I'm wrong, you've taken Cowboys every single week. For the most part, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, they, they've done well for me and they've, you know, made me, uh, made me a loser some weeks. So, <laughs> yeah, hey, I got a ride for them, right? <laughs> I'm right, taking the Titans. <laughs> I've taken the Titans every week, and I think they've lost. Them. They, I don't know if they covered the spread. Even in their win, they didn't cover the spread. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, let's go to the Jets. New York Jets are going to Arizona to take on the Cardinals. Cardinals are favored by one. Arizona is a team I can't understand. Jets, if I pick them, they always lose. The moment I don't pick them, they're going to win. So... Both teams screw me over every week. I'm just gonna go Cardinals minus one. I got the Jets on this one. I typically don't go with A Rod, but got a feeling. Got a feeling on this one. Mm, yeah, I also got the Jets as well, especially too that they are the underdogs by plus one. So it's still a pretty close or tight um, spread there. So I think. That they can manage to get the win and cover that spread. Tight spread. Right. I don't. I, I, thought, I, I heard tight spread, and my <laughs> mind said the same thing. But <laughs> I tried not to say it. You said it. <laughs> All right, we go. We got the Detroit Lions. Man, Lions! I'm so used to the Lions being bad for so long. This is different. So the Lions are in the in Houston to take on the Texans. Lions on the road. Favored minus three and a half. This is not your old, old Lions. It's a new Lions. And uh, I'm going to go with the Lions. Minus three and a half. Yeah, I think they can cover that on the road. Yeah, Lions are one of those teams this year. They're special. Got to go with them. Hmm. I also got the Lions as well on this one. Yeah. All right. Monday night game. Oh, it's not a great game. Let's see. It's the Miami Dolphins. Taking on the LA Rams. So in LA, uh, Dolphins are underdogs. Rams favored minus two and a half. The two are back? Yeah. 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 Two is back. But so is Cooper Cup. So the Rams are there. I don't know. I will go with the Dolphins. Dolphins to cover plus two and a half on the road. I got the Rams on this one. I got the, the Dolphins. All right. So there you have it. Our picks for week 10. We're, we're getting towards the end now. We're past the halfway mark. So let's see. Now on to our best bets. Ah, 
I feel like I'm kind of conflicted. However, I am going to take my best bet and go to Philadelphia. So the Eagles are favored minus seven. A little bit big of a big spread against the Cowboys, but I'm confident that the Eagles, Saquon Barkley, will uh, show up and cover that spread. So yeah, my best bet this week, Eagles minus seven on the road. Damn, I, w- I was going to pick the Eagles, but I kind of want to be different this week. Um, <laughs> just makes sense with DACA, right? Um, yeah. I'm going to go with the Falcons. That's my best bet. That was my second one I was thinking leaning towards. <laughs> my best bet this week would be the Washington Commanders. Last Taking week... a risk again. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> That was a risk you guys took last week and it paid off, right? And I was thinking about it last week, but I didn't. I'm going with the Commanders this week. They're looking real good. Um, so I think uh, not only they're going to get me the win, but they're also going to get me a best bet win. Perfect. There you have it. Our week 10. Stick with the Laugh Kings throughout the weekend um, and heading into next week because we have a lot of content, especially on our... our uh, our trip. Jay, you want to end us off? Yeah, check us out at The Last Kings. We're going to go live. We're going to have some special episodes. Um, so check it out. We're going to be potting straight from LA. We're going to have some good content. Once again, at The Last Kings, for the audio head, there's The Last Kings on your platform. And for anything and everything Last Kings, go to direct.me slash Last Kings with a Z or a Z. Peace, y'all. Week 10. <laughs>